What's up guys, Ruxin34 back here with another video, and in today's video we have a pretty epic, awesome, old school opening. So if you guys have seen the old school experts video last week, he did a video that was also these first original 11 unlimited packs, and he shouted out my channel. This is kind of a low key pack battle, not really too serious, but um, we wanted to do a some sort of collaboration, so he... Gave me a lot of, you know, he said a lot of nice stuff about me, which was pretty cool. Shout out the channel, it was really awesome, so it's my turn. So, here you here we come. So, yeah, old school expert, I appreciate, I appreciate that he shouted us out, and also I've been watching his videos, you know, since I got back into Yu-Gi-Oh! two years ago. All of you guys know him, he has an awesome old school channel, he's opened everything under the sun when it comes to old school product, and a lot of the newer stuff. Um, not like the current stuff, but maybe like a few years ago, he was still opening new stuff. So pretty cool. So I appreciate him doing that and supporting my channel, which is pretty cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to open 11 original unlimited booster packs. So before we get started, it took a while actually to acquire all these packs because you don't just find original unlimited packs everywhere because we can't have the reprints. So it had to have, you know, these had to have that logo and then... You know, actually, technically, this is not an original. This is like a. This was in a Force of the Breaker special edition. You guys saw me open. I just took this one out. So, let's go ahead and open these extra packs. I got some extra packs from Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube. So make sure you guys check out. If you have not checked out Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube's uh, YouTube channel, you definitely need to because it's one of the best. So he sent us. Boom. Thank you very much. That's from Tim. That's Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube. There's his YouTube right there. So check him out. He sent us. Okay, some cool stuff here. A Japanese Rise of Destiny, a Raging Battle, and then Pokemon stickers. So that's gonna be interesting. We're gonna see what that is. So we're gonna start off with Japanese. I think these are actually a little bit weird to open. So let's see, this is gonna be not a short video because we do have 11 packs plus a few bonus packs. And they're old, so we wanna take our time. So let's see if we can pull. Oh, there's that Nightmare Penguin. And we got a rare. I don't even know if you're guaranteed a rare out of here. So that's a fossil excavation or something like that. What? I can't remember what it is. Fossil dig. It was something like that. All right. Let's go with this raging battle pack. We can have a chance at pulling a ghost rare. So if we pulled a ghost rare out of a random pack, that'd be kind of funny. I mean, I did pull a Trigon Dragon original out of a free pack one time. Um, so that was pretty cool. <laughs> Maybe we'll save our luck for the old school though. There's a Moja. We could rebirth. We're trying to scope in. Yeah, so I've opened a lot of Raging Battle. I don't think I've, I don't even know if I've pulled a Hollow. I've, op I've opened like eight packs. All right, so let's open these stickers. I don't know what these are. We're about to open them because Tim sent them, sent them to us, so pretty cool. Oh, I remember these. This is pretty cool. Meowth, Marowak. Oh my gosh, they're like attached on the edge. Golduck. Oh my goodness. Charmeleon, that's a big hit. Oh, look at our rare here. We got an Alakazam. I don't know if it's a rare or not, but it's a big card. If they're backwards, so they gotta be Kangaskhan, Electabuzz, Graveler, and Pikachu. So look at that. So that's pretty funny. The little stickers, so that's pretty awesome. Thanks, Tim, for those extra, extra, you know, what am I trying to say? Uh, packs. All right, and this is what, this is what Third Rate Collector sent us. He sent us an Enemy of Justice repacked pack. So I have a feeling I know what's gonna be in there. He also sent us some Korean packs, so naturally we're going to open those. And one of them is old school, so here we go, Korean pack. I'm imagining there's not too much in this. Because they may, they print like 40 packs per box of this stuff. Let's see if we can pull something decent, I guess. You don't, you're not even guaranteed a rare, so let's see. Yeah, we got a rare. That's Karma Cut, right? So we got a rare, not bad. I'm guessing that he's probably... Like open, there's no re there's no reason to. I don't know why he even has these laying around. So we'll see. Let's see if we can get out a cybernetic revolution. And there's a rare rising energy, so you're actually not guaranteed rare, so it's not that bad. All right, and the LOB pack. You guys, you guys probably a lot of you guys probably don't know, but I opened eight boxes of this when it first. Um, when they first reprinted this in December of 2019, I think that's what it was. Maybe it was a little bit before that. And trying to get the blue eyes, and it was a long journey trying to get that card. So these opened very strangely. That's why I would always cut them open whenever I did these. So here we go. Let's see if we can get a rare. Flame Ghost. So not bad overall. We didn't get any all common packs. 
So that's pretty cool. And then open at your own risk. So here we go. Let's see what's in here. Let's see what's in this repacked pack. I have a guess. If you guys have seen my Enemy of Justice videos, you guys probably know what we're going to get in here. So here we go. Heated Heart. Heated Heart. Heated Heart. Celestial Transformation, Destiny Hero, Doom Lord, Guard Dog, Macrocosmos, Avalanche, Ball, the Clock Tower. Whoa! You were the chosen one! That is the 400th time I've pulled it, so that's kind of funny. That's, I mean, it makes sense. We've pulled it a million times, so that's just that's just the card we pull every time, which is unfortunate. Awesome. We've given away three old school super rares. We've got a Amazonas Archers from Magician's Force, Grave Robber from Pharaoh Servant and a Bazoo the Soul Deer from Labyrinth of Nightmare. So all you gotta do is comment down below what your favorite of these old school packs is and then of course like the video. And that's all you gotta do. I'll be giving it away to one random winner. So let's get into the main event. We're already seven minutes in. So this is gonna be a longer video, so buckle in. Let's go backwards. Let's start with Ancient Sanctuary. Here we go. We got a Nubian Guard, Backfire. Three Hump Lakuda, Earthquake. <laughs> Can't touch this. Okay, that's a good start. Secret rare in the Vanubis. Not the not the pack I would have picked to get a secret rare, but at the same time, it's a secret rare from an old school pack. So here's the thing about the Ancient Sanctuary. Third rate correct collector actually he sent me a heavy pack. So, um, take that into account when you're saying, you know, who you think won, won this battle. It's not really a big deal, but, um, it was a heavy pack, but we did pull a secret rare, so that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty cool. An Ancient Sanctuary secret rare. I have pulled that in first edition, actually, from a box, so that's pretty cool to pull the unlimited version, so that's a good start. Invasion of Chaos. This we're going to start off hot. This one was from a blister, so I know it's unweighed. Most of these should be unweighed, so that's pretty cool. Well, except that one, which was weighed. All right, here we go. Fiend's Hand Mirror, Molten Zombie, Soul Tiger, Manju oh, 10,000 Hands, good start. And Mataza the Zapper. Okay, we did get a really good uh, common though. Gigantus, that's a pretty, uh, pretty decent card, I think, actually. So we got a nice uh, Manju and Gigantus, pretty decent cards. I'm gonna set those guys aside. And let's get into Dark Crisis. This one came out, did this come out in 2004 or 2003? I think it was late 2003, like December or something like that. Could be wrong. Oh man, this one's hard to open. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can pull something good. Here we go, Ray of Hope, Ninkin Dog, Dark Scorpion, Gord the Strong, or not Gord the Strong. I just said that uh, out of habit, but it's Manade the Thorn. Look at the centering on these. That is crazy. Arsenal Robber. Oh, Dark Master Zork. And look at the centering. It's good. There we go. Super rare. It's got a little bit of foil shift. Very slight. So we got two out of three so far. That's really good. Let's see. We got a Pandemonium Watch Bear. That's a cool looking guy. Cestus of Dogga. Really eternal rest. And drag down to the grave. So pretty good start so far. Pretty good start. All right. Uh, oh, we should be going to Magician's Force. This, got to break open this blister. It is really bent, so that's okay. Got, I think it might have gotten bit in the mail. Oh, what in the world? Yeah, it's even... So, the good thing about this is we know it's an unweighed Magician's Force. The bad thing is, pretty sure this is a Diffusion Wave Motion Pack if it's in a retail blister. So, we probably can't pull Dark Magician Girl, which is a bummer. So, naturally, we want to get a Dark Paladin. I have pulled a Dark Magician Girl, but I have not pulled a Dark Paladin, so... Let's see what we can get here. Kaiser Coliseum. Oh. <laughs> Amazonus Blowpiper. Gather Your Mind. Pigeon Holding Book of Spells. And Desk Koala Rare. We got a Giant Orc. Anti Spell. Pitch Dark Dragon. And Amazonus Spellcaster. So there we go. We got a rare in that pack. Unfortunate, our Magician's Force pack. Next, Pharaonic Guardian. Let's see what we can pull. There's a lot of good commons in here that we could pull. Hopefully we'll pull a Metamorphosis for my goat deck. We got a Gravekeeper's Curse. Banner of Courage. Curse of Aging. Yomi Ship. King Tiger Wangu. I don't know if I've ever seen that guy. That looks like it would be from the Robin Hood. Um, 
you know the Robin Hood, was it Disney? That they, they have, they're all, uh, like, he's a fox and they're all, like, different animals. That looks like it would be from that. <laughs> Needle ceiling, royal keeper, a man with widget, and pyramid energy. No metamorphosis, man, that's what I really wanted. Alright, so we're doing okay still. Legacy of Darkness. We've got six more old school, uh, old school unlimited packs. Hope you guys are enjoying this. If you are, hit the like button. Thanks again, old school expert, for doing this with me. Here we go. Ryukishin Clown. Heart of Clear Water. Ominous Fortune Telling. Mysterious Guard. Oh, Spear wow. Dragon. Sweet. Okay, we got a we got a super. We got a robotic knight. A double snare. Soul Demolition and Convulsion of Nature. It's always a pretty cool card. It's got all those different, you know, uh, things on it. Kind of reminds me of like a magic card with all those different uh, elements and stuff. Here we go. We got another super rare. So we got two supers and a secret. Not bad. All right. Labyrinth of Nightmare. What do we want out of here? I mean, I've opened a lot of Labyrinth of Nightmare and I've pulled almost everything I want. I don't know if this is a magic cylinder pack, but I would love to get a magic cylinder. I've never pulled that. So here we go. Empress Mantis. A lot asking for a second secret rare though, so I can't really expect it. Spirit of Flames, Lightning Blade, Garuda the Wind Spirit. Oh, a Kaiku, but what, what's going on with the cutting at the top? Is that a bunch of extra card? That's weird. Okay, but still, a Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer, that's pretty awesome. Look at the bat. Oh my goodness. That's what's going on. The corner is destroyed. Oh. See, if you guys remember me talking about my dark magic attack in my binder video, this is exactly what happened. So, like, I put the sleeve on, and it caught that damaged quarter and just, like, destroyed the corner. Man, that is really bad, unfortunately. Awesome hollow pull. Um, that'll be okay, though. I can just throw in a goat deck, um, because goat uses that a lot. All right, did I, did I finish going through these? I can't remember. Okay. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. But at the same time, it's a goat card, so I can play it. Here we go, Pharaoh Servant. Let's see if Tim sent us any foils. Hopefully we can pull a Jinzo or something. That'd be pretty crazy. All right, or Legendary Fisherman would be awesome. Buster Blader, of course. Deep Sea Warrior. Oni Tank T34. This is the last set to come out in 2002, I believe. Dokura Groyaibu. Dark Bat. Morphing Jar number two, that's a cool card. Garudin Kuwagata. Souls of the Forgotten. Gust. And insect berries. So we're actually doing really good. Even though we did have one heavy pack, um, we got three other foils. Unfortunately, only supers, but still. Magic Ruler. We definitely want to pull like a Relinquished out of here. That'd be pretty cool. I've never pulled that. I pulled Blue Eyes Tune in First Ed and Unlimited, so it would be cool to pull the Relinquished. I've never pulled that. I've opened a lot of Unlimited Magic Ruler actually on the channel, actually. So here we go. Performance of the Sword. Giant, tur giant Turtle who Feeds on Flames. Magical Labyrinth, Dark Zebra, and a Nimble Manga, cool card, Flash Assailant, Turtle Oath, Twin Long Rods number two, and Course of Sanctuary. All right, Metal Raiders. We've actually, out of strictly graded packs, we've pulled three foils out of three packs. So I, I find it hard for our luck to continue here, but this could be four for four if we pull one out of the Metal Raiders. All right. Destroyer Golem. Okay, what, what else do we want? We want Barrel Dragon. Basically any Ultra. We want a Mirror Force. We want um, Solemn Judgment. We want uh, Bee Skull, Summon Skull. There's just, yeah, just so many good cards in here. Cheerful Coffin. Lady of Faith. And a Song of the Thunder. So we did pull four for four foils. All supers. But still, oh, look how clean that is. That is slightly faded, too. Right out of the pack. Now that's pretty cool right there, an original, slightly faded, Sangha of the Thunder. Rest of the pack had a Pale Beast, Empress Judge, Soul Release, and Larva Moth. I just love Larva Moth for some reason. I used to have what, the toys with like the Ultimate Moth and all them. Pretty cool. This one's going to hurt a little bit, busting open this blister, because this is a really awesome looking blister. But original LOB, we know it's unweighed because it's from a blister. Let's check out the back of that. Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Ancient Egypt, there existed a force so powerful it had to be blocked away for millennia. Now one boy has returned the power. It's time to do. Yep, I, I'm sure I just played the da -da 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 duel, so pretty clutch. So here we go. Oh, they got the ratios right there. Pretty cool. So here we go. LOB, what do we want? Any foils, what do we want? We haven't pulled an ultra yet. 
This would be a great set to pull an ultra from. I wonder if I could save this somehow. I mean, that still looks pretty good. I'm gonna try and keep that. I don't know. That looks pretty awesome. So here we go. Original, unlimited, Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. I can feel I'm a little bit warped in here. Maybe that means there's a full out. Come on, Blue Eyes. That'd be pretty crazy. LOB, original, unlimited. I've had some good luck with LOB, so here we go. Fire Grass, Dark World Thorns, Red Medicine, Kurama, and Pot of Greed. Okay, I'll take that rare. Wasteland, Larvis, Basic Insect, and Rain Temperature. So, hey, that's it. I mean, it's not a foil, but it's a Pot of Greed. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool, so I'll take that. We'll put that in the, in the hits pile. So here we go. What did we get? Well, we did get these two guys, so pretty good commons there. We hit five foils, so that's pretty good. Well, really, four out of ten unweighed and then one heavy. So we got a Pot of Greed, a Sangha of the Thunder, slightly faded. That's probably my favorite pull, honestly. Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer, Damage Corner, unfortunately. Spear Dragon. Dark Master Zork, and the end of Anubis Secret Rare. So that is really, really awesome. It's a really, really awesome opening. Hope you guys enjoyed this old school stuff. I'm looking to do more of this, you know, this kind of stuff. So like opening the first 11 sets. I have an idea that might be pretty awesome, but it's going to take a while. But it could be pretty cool. So thanks again, Old School Expert, for shouting me out on your channel, doing a video with me. It's pretty cool. And I really enjoy your channel. I hope you guys... I hope you guys Hope you keep posting videos. I'm going to be watching them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace.